How's it going guys? Today I'd like to give you a brief tutorial on how I went from this to this. Let me show you how to do it. This is the printer I'm talking about. It is a 3KU ductive printer. It was a kit that I purchased off Amazon. Um, it's good for like a mediocre starter printer. Uh, putting it together, uh, you learn a lot. It's Arduino based, so it's uh, pretty easy to understand and comprehend how it works. And uh, I'm going to take it apart now and show you what I've done to it. The only change I really had to make to the printer was I had to drill a hole in the top plate here for the switch that powers the heated print bed. I have it hooked up straight to the motor driver board that sits atop of the Arduino Mega. Um, this way I can only turn on the heat bed if the power is on so I don't have to worry about uh, keeping it on overnight. This is what the heated print bed looks like up close. I have double sided scotch tape to help keep the print stuck down. I found that that really works well with this heated print bed and keeping the prints from sliding on you to have a better quality print each time. This is what the print bed looks like on the Amazon store. The nice thing about this print bed is when hooked up straight to 12 volt power source, it only gets up to about 200 or 210 degrees Celsius, which is right where you want it. It is also important when purchasing this heat bed that you have something to stay on top of the bed that's nice and flat, so when you're printing the first layer, uh, it doesn't start sliding around on you and cause it to fail. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration of the printer printing with the heat bed off versus the heat bed turned on. Alright, so this is what happened with the heat bed turned off. Now let's try it with the heat bed turned on. This was with the heat bed turned on. As you can see, the print turned out a lot nicer than the last time. So if you're curious about what you would want the heat bed for, it is uh, to prevent warping and it also helps make sure that the prints stay stuck to the bed to help them from sliding around, which you saw in the first take uh, when we were printing with the heat bed turned off, how the print kind of slid out and that's why it started to uh, mess up big time. With the heat bed turned on, it stopped that from happening. Also, with the first two items that I showed you in the beginning of the video, uh, the warp in the one was caused from the heat not uh, dissipating evenly. So when you have a heat bed, it helps make sure that the heat is maintained evenly throughout the print. And if you're also curious about what those were for, those were for this remote. If you're curious what this is for, which is not just for a regular remote control car, um, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos on how-to videos, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.